So what will you have in this restaurant of yours? I don't know, we haven't decided on the menu yet. Greek's my favourite. You'd ask for beef and they give you the hell cap. All right, Max. Just popped in to go over the brewery details. Yeah, well, never mind that. I want you to get on the phone to this Kenny McGuire fella. Tell him to be down inside the savvy. Why? Well, why do you think, Max? So we can get our money back? No, Barry, no, I don't think that's very wise. This McGuire man is dangerous. Who knows what he's capable of? He's a gangster. He likes to think he is, but I've been doing a bit of research on him. Turns out he's just some dickhead. Some jumped-up little loan shark who's got too big for his boots. All the same, I, I, I prefer not to get on the wrong side of him. You just leave him to me. Mr. Farnham, what can I do for you? I'm sorry, Mr. Farnham. I'm afraid that's impossible today. He says he can't make it. Tell him he's got no choice. Oh, I'm very sorry, but today is the only convenient day for my partner. Tell him the deal's off, then. I can't say that. Say it. Well, in that case, Mr. Maguire, um, I'm afraid we're going to have to call our deal off. Who do you think you are? That deal, as you call it, can be terminated by me and me only. I'm sorry, but you've left us with no other option. All right, all right. Right, we'll play it your way. I'll see you up there in about half an hour, and this better be worth it. About this at all. Do I get that money back or not? Yeah, of course I do. But, I... but nothing. There's only one way of dealing with the likes of Maguire, and that's to give him a taste of his own medicine. I don't want any violence. Don't worry, Max. I won't be harming a hair on me yet. Well, what then? Well, I'll just be warning him off, having a wave with him, that's all. Now, look, you get down the sides, I'll be right behind you. Well, you better have me, because I don't want to be left with him on my own like a sitting duck. Look, I've told you in a couple of minutes, all right? Cross me heart, hope to die. I don't like people who waste my time or tell me what to do or where to be. I realize how inconvenient this must be for you, Mr. McGuire. I am terribly sorry. Um, let me offer you another coffee. It's uh, the least I can do. I didn't come here to spend the afternoon drinking coffee. I just hope he hasn't had an accident along the way. Well, I hope for his sake that he has. And he'd better be serious because no other excuse is good enough. Oh. <clears throat> Here he is now. Well, about time and all. You better have his excuses ready, that's all I can say. Well, I think you should be the one getting your excuses ready. You what? Listen, uh, Maguire, I don't like you and I'm not scared to say it. Oh, gone all brave, have you? Now your mate's here to hold your hand. No, no, I can stand up for myself, thank you very much. Your sort doesn't scare me. Is, um, is Barry with you? I'm afraid it's been a little delayed. Delayed? What were you saying, Mr. Farnham? Uh, how, um, how many sugars do you take in your coffee? Stick your coffee. You've wasted enough of my time. You've waited this long. A few more minutes won't make any difference. Do you mind keeping out of this, love? It's business. I'm sure Max wouldn't mind if I stayed, would you, Max? Uh, no, absolutely no. Not. Um, after all, we are all family here. That's settled then. So, do you take milk and sugar, Mr. McGuire? Right. Enough of all this. You've wasted enough of my time. Hey, love, do you mind leaving us alone? We've got some private business to discuss, haven't we, Mr. Farnham? I'd prefer to stay. Yeah? Well, I'd prefer it if you left. Grant. 
I believe you owe me two grand. Well, what are you doing with that thing? You made a bit of a mess here a couple of weeks ago. It's not nice when strangers vandalise your property, is it? Section policy for yourself, eh? <laughs>